giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Welcome to News Leaders, February 2019. Glad to have you with us today. Got some good information for you, lots of local information with good guests, and you'll probably learn something and have some fun too. So sit back and relax and watch the whole News Leaders show. And if you'd like to watch it all again, video on demand through Mediacom. Now, my first guest is certainly one of those you'd like to watch again. This is Angela Speck over here. Angela, welcome back. Glad to be here. Second appearance on News Leaders. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited too. Your whole <laughs> outfit. You're wearing the universe. Exactly. Well, why not? I mean, you study the universe, you might as well wear it as well. Right. Angela's titles are Professor of Astrophysics at MU, Director of Astronomy at MU, uh, Faculty Fellow for Outreach and Engagement, and that leads to the uh, Presidential Engagement Fellows. That's right. Okay. Give me some detail on that. So um, about a year or so ago, President Choi, uh, president of the UM system, decided that he wanted to be able to engage with the public more and get faculty out into the state. So not just in the, the four cities that have the campuses. And so there were a bunch of us selected. There's about 15 total from all four campuses of the UM system. And it's our job to go out into uh, the world, mostly Missouri, and just talk to people. Mostly about research, let people know what it is we're doing. But basically, it's engaging with the public about what UM does. I like it. In fact, I went to the web page. All those people on there, I thought, wow, these are great interviews from Mediacom down the road. Exactly. And everybody has different topics, too, they're going to be talking about. I went to your page. Your topics include astronomy, mm -hmm. women in science, eclipses. We talked to you about that last year. Pluto's planethood, the origin of the elements, astrology versus astronomy. So obviously, we can't do this in five minutes. You would need like a two-hour show. I need to come back. Just to get started. <laughs> So, wonderful. So you're for kind of for hire, so to speak? Yeah, although you don't have to pay me. Um, basically, the idea is that uh, we can arrange for me to come and visit wherever, uh, not necessarily in Colombia, but wherever in the state. And I can come and give a talk, and we can talk about exactly what people want. Uh, and I can do other things that are sort of hands-on activities, too. Oh, so we have a solar telescope that I can bring if it's a daytime and the sun's out. Um, I have a wonderful light experiment where people get to play around with how light works. So there's lots of things we can do, um, and I'm hope open to any audience. Well, astro astronomy is at the top of your list, so that must be your most important your, most, your biggest love, right? That covers, that, that's meant to be, I will talk about anything in astronomy. You know, it's not necessarily my research uh, or the stuff that I work directly on, but all of astronomy is exciting. And there's things that make the news all the time. So we just had a lunar eclipse, things like that. Um, you know, if people are interested in astronomy and there's a specific topic, I'm probably happy to talk about it. Well, let me ask you then, coming up in the first half of 2019, do you see anything down the road that we want to be aware of and keep our eye out for? So uh, we just had one event. So January was, you know, we, we had a, a lunar eclipse. Um, but the things that are coming up this year, um, there is actually another solar eclipse, but not in the US. Um, it's in South America. Uh, I'll actually be going to Argentina to, to watch it. You will. Yep. We'll which have is to show awesome. pictures and talk about Oh, that. yeah. Um, but then there's also the 50th anniversary of the lunar landing. So July will mark the 50th anniversary of us landing the first people on the moon. So that's going to be a really big deal. Um, and so those are the two big things that will be happening. Were you year. alive at that time? Uh, it was a couple of years before I was born. Ah, yeah. Well, I remember it, but I was very young, too. Uh, quite, quite, quite astonishing, you know. Right. And even now, it's like I can't watch the, the moments of Neil Armstrong stepping onto the moon without crying. I can't do it. Even in, like, they show a bit of it in one of the Transformers movies. Tears. It's, it's such a magical time. Mm -hmm. um, women in science, what would you like to say about that? So one of the things, uh, and women in science is, is part of this, but one of the things that we know is that if you look at science, if you think about how people think of a stereotypical scientist, it's typically Einstein in a lab coat with glasses. That's the view that people have. Uh, but there's actually a lot of people who don't look like that. So me, for instance. Um, and over the history of science, like millennia, there have been a lot of women who've done science and not necessarily got their dues, not got credit. We're starting to give credit retrospectively. 
Um, but it's really important for people to see that women and other underrepresented groups have been doing science for millennia. And so that's a space that's really interesting, talking about who did what and when they got credit for it. I'd like that. Would you like to come back and talk about that? Oh, yes. Sometime? Okay. We'll book another segment that talk about women in science. And again, we could talk to you for years, so I guess we will, about all these different <laughs> topics. Absolutely. But we're out of time for today. If people want for more information, you've got a special website. My website is stardustspec.com. Stardustspec.com. That's right. And I wish people could see everything that you're wearing today, from your feet all the way up to your shoulders. You're decked <laughs> out in astro astronomy. Absolutely. <laughs> Angela Speck, good to see you. Thank we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Cheers.